Good morning, it's Lady Lulu here and we're uh, interviewing a new staff member. So, new staff member, have you developed a range of communication skills to assist you in building and maintaining strong relationships? We quite often do a lot of networking with other interagency type activities. Uh, we attend team meetings as well. And that's really good for building communication skills and techniques. And probably one of the most important things to do as a manager is have that good, stable, open door policy, allowing people to come and talk to you when they really need to talk to you. So, how have you, how have you contributed to communication with colleagues, huh? We often do a lot of face-to-face -face sessions. So I'll sit down with my staff just off the cuff. We'll sit down and have a little discussion. Nothing documented, just touching base to see how everyone's going. But also take part in the performance development review of all the staff as well. It's a little bit more seriously toned, however, trying to make the uh, worker feel nice and comfortable in that environment to get the most out of them. And one of the most important things for me too is making sure that I draw on the skills and experience of my staff by getting that input from them in that team meeting environment. So can you describe the methods you have used to represent your agency to other groups in the community? We quite often attend expos and have stalls and things like that. Uh, one of the last expos we attended, I, I talked to about 100 clients in a 90 minute period. I really enjoy getting out there and presenting Suncare as an organisation. Uh, I, I feel it's really important to get out within your community and just put a face to the name. It's very important to get out there and do those expos and represent. So young man, can you tell me what strategies you have used in group facilitation? Often use active listening and um, reflection of a person's story and using empathy. I find it really important that you, you know, the old saying, walk a mile in another person's shoes. What specific communication te techniques have you used in helping to resolve conflict within the workplace? Um, the first thing that I find is paramount is making sure that the environment is appropriate and also again making sure that you set the scene prior to arriving at this point. We have to make sure that all parties are comfortable and uh, also make sure that they're prepared, uh, for example offering that they can bring in a third person as a witness or somebody who can take the notes. So and we then have to use those smooth, supportive and constructive tones and uh, make sure your body language is appropriate. 